bird on a tree. Hi, Caleb here with Sigurd Photography, and today we're going to be walking the first part of the Kamioka Trail in Stillwater, Oklahoma. Now, this trail is free to walk on, and I hope you guys enjoy. And we set off right where we left off on our last trail, which was the uh, Storybook Trail in Stillwater, Oklahoma. Um, yeah. So we can't say goodbye to our car because our car is still sitting at home. Now we are coming up to the first bridge on this trail and trust me there are quite a few bridges on this one so just be ready. Um, and the creek we are about to walk over is Boomer Creek or Stillwater Creek. It's the name's kind of you know uh, in or out. Uh, and not Boomer as in bo baby boomers. Boomer as in Boomer Sooner. Which if you have never heard of that, that is the fight song or the University of Oklahoma uses it as their fight song, but um, boomers were people who campaigned for the land uh, to be opened, um, like the Indian land, uh, before the Indian Appropriations Act of 1889, or they tried to enter Indian land, and Sooners were land thieves who settled in the land before it was officially open. So, you know, University of Oklahoma, maybe, you know, don't name both of your mascots off of land thieves. Now, I may be a little bit partial to Oklahoma State University because I li grew up in Stillwater, and, you know, the rivalry between those two is pretty strong. Now, this park that we're walking through right now has disc golf, a baseball field that's not very kept up, and then this trail. Now this trail is, I wouldn't call boring, but this is definitely not the craziest part of the Kamioka Trail. Now basically this path follows the Boomer Creek or Stillwater Creek all the way to Boomer Lake, which is the main lake in Stillwater. Uh, the only thing about this trail is there is this part, and then the trail just abruptly ends and then picks up a couple of miles up ahead, like more north, and then there is a section of trail right there, and then the trail abruptly ends and then, you know, jumps ahead a little farther. Now, I know Stillwater was planning on completely attaching the trail a couple of years ago. I don't really know what happened with that. Maybe funding fell through. Maybe they just focused on something different. But, you know, we can still walk it the way it is. Now, it is named the Kamioka Trail after Kamioka, um, Japan, which is Stillwater's sister city, and they became sister cities on April 19th, 2000, or 1997, oops, that was the year I was born, and it is, they celebrate the anniversary of international friendship every April 19th, and yeah, um, uh, the botanical gardens in Stillwater, which we plan to walk in the coming future, has a part of like a part that was actually created and designed by two um, landscapers from Kamioka. And yeah, that's just an interesting fact. Now, that crunch is very similar to the one at the Travestine Creek Trail. I mean, it's gravel under your feet. Big yawn right there. So I did this one in the evening because it was quite a hot day and, you know, the sun was going down so the heat was also going down. Now, like I said in the previous video, I plan on putting these out every Wednesday until we're done. And 
the way it's going right now, I haven't completely finished. Um, it's gonna look like seven parts. I hope I can squeeze it down a little bit less than that, but I'm trying to show you as much of the trail as possible with not having, you know, an hour and a half long video. Now, this part of the trail is not as used as the rest of it. The end part is actually used the most, um, but we'll get to that when we get to that on the video. Now, I think Stillwater, if Stillwater actually went through and completely made the whole path unify, like, hooked together and uniform, this would be an amazing path for people who want to see parts of Stillwater they may have never seen. It's hard to hear, but I just walked fast, or some geese just flew over. Now, I know the sun being in our eyes is not ideal. But it's the best I could do at the time. And I hope you guys don't hold that against me. Now, in the distance, we can see bridge number two. Now, I really like the first bridge just because, you know, it's cool. It doesn't have any handrails. And then I like the second to last bridge on this one because it's made out of stone. Crunch, 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 crunch. Uh, so yeah, that foliage is hiding Boomer Creek. And this is the runoff from the spot near the cemetery. The cemetery is just over that line of trees in the distance. There's a disc golf goal. Yep, those trees in the distance right there. That is where the cemetery of Stillwater is. And it obviously looks like they can, they need to mow, but I drove by there today and it looks like they were out there mowing. So it looks like they're trying to keep up with it as best they can. Now, I had no idea because I have never been homeless, but Stillwater actually has a sizable homeless um, population and it's kind of sad, but we go by two of the bigger homeless people camps in Stillwater. So, if you decide to walk this trail, you know, nothing against homeless people, but you might just, you know, be aware of your surroundings. Uh, we will pass one of them on this trail, or on this part of the trail, and one of them on the next part. Now, also coming up on this trail, uh, we pass one of the better Mexican restaurants in Stillwater. Uh, that is called El Tapatio. They have nice outdoor seating and some pretty killer queso, if I do say so myself. Uh, more disc golf right there. And just watch out for flying disc. Disc golfers are normally pretty good at watching out for people, but you know, accidents happen. And I lowered the camera just a little bit because there was a man and his girlfriend, I would assume, playing with a dog. And I didn't want, you know, privacy issues. And this was that stone bridge I was talking about. It's pretty cool looking. And there are the dog people. And up on the top right, you can see uh, El uh, Tapatio, which is definitely, you know, a perk of walking this trail. You can always stop and grab yourself something to eat. 
Now there are other Mexican restaurants on this trail, so yeah. <laughs> now off to the right, they have like, it's not necessarily like an animal sanctuary because it's too small, but more of a let's see what happens if we let this grass grow and what animals might come around. Or at least that's how I took it. Trying to read some of the signs while I was walking. And this is the final bridge in this uh, part. And this is also where some of the homeless people of Stillwater live. And yeah, so Stillwater, or Boomer Creek, whatever you want to call it, is still off to our left. As we go under the bridge, you can hear the cars going over and the cicadas in the background. I just noticed them. They may have been in the whole video. You kind of get used to them. Now, the highest I've ever seen this creek is actually right up on that ridge line, right up there. Yep, right up there. I'm pointing at it now. Uh, but that was when there was quite a bit of flooding in town. Now this is the first time I've actually walked all of the trail and I did not realize that it just ended. So we're about to come up on the end of the trail. We're kind of just bees right here and there's two benches and yeah that's the end of the first part. I hope you guys enjoyed. And that was the first part of the Kamioka Trail in Stillwater, Oklahoma. Hope you guys enjoy. Uh, part two will be coming out next Wednesday, uh, probably around 8 a.m. Um, Central Time. And yeah, I don't ever know what time I should put them up, but 8 a.m. seems fine because, you know, you can watch them any time of the day. You want to watch it at lunch, you watch it at lunch. You want to watch it after work, you can watch it after work. Either way, it works out. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Like a bird 